r slash ask reddit by redmond ets what are a few of the dumbest mistakes people make on the internet right now sharing too much personal information especially pictures of their kids arguing with trolls and then becoming them think their online research is as valid as real research done by scientists I especially like it when people throw up a link as an argument, and it's some obscure website with no source citations whatsoever. Or when they just say, don't be a sheep, do your own research. Allowing all cookies on unknown websites. Assuming that what they post is anonymous and private. Thinking you can post stuff and the wrong people will never see it. Bosses see it. Cops see it. Exes and future SOC see it. Your parents see it. It doesn't stay where you post it. People share it and it can go all over. Posting pictures of their credit cards, with caption my first credit card etc. And answering dumb questions such as. What would you name be if it was the name of your first pet and the street you lived on as a child? These SA security questions for banks, do not put this info anywhere. Same with. If your bank balance was your social security number, how much money would you have? Do not answer any of these. Not having an ad blocker. If you are seeing adverts in YouTube in 2024, you are interneting incorrectly. Credit cards on non-secured sites. Oversharing things about their and their kids lives. Or making Instagram accounts and having posts as if they were from their infant kid. Citing Twitter, X, or Instagram posts, homemade TikTok or YouTube videos, and basement podcasts as valid sources of information. Posting themselves. All those harmless pictures are possibly in the dark web, and some weirdos make deep fake stuff with them. Even dumber is to post your voice. People can edit that so realistically and use it against you. Not understanding that any activity you engage in is stored on someone else's computer. Every post or comment you make, every photo you upload, every email you read or send, every backup of your phone, it's all out of your hands and can be accessed by others. Even worse is your cell phone. Have a nice weather app that tells you what the forecast is. You gave it permission to access your location. Access your location every few seconds. And record that location tie it to your internet identity, and sell it. There was an article in the New York Times a few years ago, where they got access to literally billions of cell phone location pings. It was pretty incredible what they were able to find by analyzing them. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.